Okay, we all know what a crackhead is, and we also know what a cracked head is. But how are they the same? G'day guys, welcome back to MG Rebuild, and hello to everyone that's uh, subscribed just of late. Now, the answer to the riddle is, they're both useless. They're no good to anybody. So what we need to do, what we're gonna do today, is actually test the heads for cracks. Okay, um, now in the absence of being able to get to a machine shop to actually do, for them to actually do the crack testing for you, there is a method you can actually use with aerosols. Now this is actually a kit where it comes in four different types. Firstly, you've got the pre-clean, which actually cleans down the, um, the block or the head or whatever you're gonna test. Then you've got the penetrator, will actually penetrate into the actual crack. Then you've got the remover, which will actually just take off the excess. And then of course you've got the developer, will actually will show you where the cracks are. So to start off with, we need to use the pre-clean. Okay, that is nice and clean now. Right, what we need to use now is the penetrant, the red one. So just reading the instructions here, um, got to spray it and let it dwell for 10 minutes. If it's cold, you go extra time. But today, even though it's a week away from winter, sorry, a week from my from winter it's actually quite a nice day today which is uh nice Don't forget to always clean your nozzles. Okay, so we now just let this sit for 10 minutes. If you want to come over, lock them, have a look at it. So we just let this, this die sit so it can actually penetrate into any cracks. So that takes 10 minutes to do, and then we'll clean that off and we'll develop it. Okay. Now, 10 minutes have actually has gone by now, so what we need to do is remove any excess from the block. Now, this you just simply wipe off. It won't affect the, the testing by this because it's all gone down into any cracks you may have. So, wipe off the excess for now. that. Now we need to use the remover. Now you don't spray directly onto the actual block because what that will do that will then penetrate down into those cracks as well and it won't give you a correct reading. So what you need is just another cloth, clean cloth. Spray it on there and then just wipe it off here. Thank you. 
Okay, that just about got it there. Right, okay. The last step is the developer. Now, according to this, you spray a light coat on the area. And then you just wait two or three minutes and it shows up any um, any flaws, any cracks or any problems you might have. And now we wait. Now you can see it's under, as it's drying, it's turning white along the edges there. You can see a few areas where I haven't quite cleaned it up, just a few little spots around, especially in the, where the water galleries have been corroded a little bit. Now I'm not worrying about the water galleries, they, they're still good, well, good enough for what I want. But everything there, it's a bit early yet, but everything is looking really good so far. I can't see any cracks, which is really good news. I will actually do the, the top side of it after we finish this part, just to make 100% sure. But so far, so good. Okay, as you can see there, it's now been about four or five minutes. The developer has now dried, and just excuse me while my neighbor starts up his lawnmower. And other than the, the marks where the actual seats are in the valves, valve seats, there are no cracks. It is crack free. Well, this side of it is anyway. I am planning on doing the, the top side just to be 100% certain. Um, and I might just do a quick video of that, or the results of that anyway, so we'll go from there. Okay, now this is the, the top of the, of the head. Um, yes, you, there's a lot of dark spots there, just improper cleaning um, and just the actual castings of it. But there is no, or well, are no cracks in there at all. So this is a good head, so very happy with that, good result. Okay, that's some really good news about the head. Um, I do have a confession to make and why I'm really doing the test is actually fell off my short workbench the other day. It was the same week as I broke my bell housing, so I had a really crap week that week. So anyway, all good, no damage caused to the head. So I'll put the link in the description for this um, crack test kit. Um, there are other ones on the market, but this is what, what I was able to find and it works quite well. Now, as for everything else, I'm still waiting for parts to arrive. Um, the front cam bearing for the, for, the, for the camshaft is still on its way from England. Damn you, virus! So, um, yeah, I just have to wait. The couple of seals I'll need for the gearbox should be here within the next couple of days, so we'll be able to fix that then. So, until next time, when we're working on the, hopefully putting the gearbox back together, I'll see you then.